make me feel so young. You make me feel. Hi, like everybody! Young. It's Will again. Thank you for joining me. Um, what we're making this week is I'm making a angel food cake with a cover of um, strawberries that I'm gonna macerate. <laughs> macerate which means kind of let them them do their own work with some sugar so what I'm gonna do tonight is just prepare the strawberries and then tomorrow I will show you how to make the oh coconut again um, I will show you how to make the angel food cake hi ginger okay so what I, the way that I, I am using my IKEA ceramic knife you do not have to use this by any means just something that will cut and the way I do it, I cut the tops off. Oh, let's see. Let me show you one that I haven't already cut. So, strawberry like this. Cut the top off. Right? Cut the top off. And then, if you put it on, uh, once you cut the top off, it'll set and won't roll around. It'll sit there and won't roll around. So, what you do is just cut. Um, I cut one, two, and then maybe cut this one in half so it's bigger. Um, so the next step is to you have a whole bowl here of strawberries like this. They're all about the same size or some bigger, some smaller. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just something that's going to top our angel food cake. Um, okay, and so um, what we're going to do is just put a little sugar in here and it helps the sugars that are already in the strawberry to come out and it makes a nice gelatinous oh the sugar ikea they make these things so you can't open the damn thing <sighs> okay so it makes a nice gelatinous little um oh what's it called it makes a nice gelatinous gelat gel there we go gelatinous gel okay so i'm just going to put a uh, sprinkle a little bit over top um, um, A little bit more. All right. Looks good. So it kind of looks like before all this stuff uh, sinks in, it kind of looks like your strawberries are just covered in snow. Just like snow. You know? Like that. So, here's the saran wrap. All right. So, just pulling enough out to cover the bowl. These can be found on QVC, and my mother-in-law bought them for me, and they're amazing. Okay, so, cover the bowl with a little saran wrap. This is what it looks like. Go into the refrigerator overnight. This is the easier part of the recipe, and you can prep it ahead of time, and there we go. I'll show you how to make the cake next. So, what we're making tonight uh, as part of the dessert is the angel food cake. Betty Crocker angel food. I really like Betty Crocker because it's a pretty good product and my mom has a joke about Betty Crocker because my dad used to kid her when um, she was cooking and one time she said, do I, what do I look like, Betty Crocker? So I always like Betty Crocker because it reminds me of my mom. So, so first thing is 325 for our oven. So we're using a fluted pan like this. It has to have high sides because this cake really rises. So a fluted pan. And what we're gonna do is um, for the mix, it says do not grease the pan. So don't grease the pan. Normally I would grease the pan, but don't grease the pan. And if I were going to grease the pan, oh, I would use this. It's called Baker's Joy. And it's a spray, and it's got a lid that won't come off, but it's got um, a little bit of uh, powder, uh, 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 by powder I mean flour. It's got a little bit of flour in the spray, so uh, it really makes things come off really well. Uh, we've had a lot of success with it. So, anyhow, my assistant Tony introduced me to the Baker's Joy. So, what we're going to do, get out our weapon here for the bag. Cut open the bag, put half of the bag in our bowl. It's really powdery because all of this stuff is dehydrated. Okay, then we're going to get 
Um, it says beat cake mix, which is this, and one and quarter cups water in an extra large glass or metal bowl. My bowl's not metal, it's porcelain, but anyway. So we need one and quarter cups of water. I'm using this Pampered Chef little measurer right here that's really cool. So I'm gonna get one and quarter cups of water. Be right back. All right, I'm back. One and quarter cups of water. I've only put half of my mix in here, so I'm gonna put half the water in here. All right. Then, using my KitchenAid handheld mixer, I'm going to put it on, um, it says, on low speed. So this goes up to seven, so I'm going to put it on two. Got it started. Once it stops smoking, quote unquote, <laughs> because of all the powder, then you can um, put the rest in here. Now, if you slow it down, you can get your beaters out without making a huge mess. Like that. Perfect. So you've got a little, bit of, a little bit of batter left on your beaters, but not a whole lot. And it's not all over the floor. Ginger won't have anything to lick up. I'm going to take a metal spoon now. And take a metal spoon and put all of this fluffy, frothy stuff into our pan. Now remember, it's not grease. Oven's done in perfect time. Ha! I got this all over me. Be right back. Okay, so I'm just gonna shake it a little bit. You don't wanna get all the air out of it, but just shake it a little bit. And then it says, as directed below or until top is dark, golden brown, and cracks feel very dry and not sticky, do not underbake. Okay, so what I'm using is the Angel Food tube pan, so 37 to 47 minutes. The thing about an angel food cake is that you have to be really quiet. You can't change the air pressure in the room. You can't change any of the, um, you can't use loud noises or anything like that. So this is not a very good thing to do if you're an opera singer. <laughs> so anyhow, um, we're gonna let this cook and I'll show you the finished product. We're checking it. It's still got three minutes. I know, but. It ain't done. Look at it though, I think it, it ain't done. done. It ain't done, it ain't done. It likes to take everything out of the oven too early. It ain't done. Look at it. Ain't done. I think it's done. It says brown. Ain't it says done. when it's brown. That is not brown. Put it back in there and leave it alone. It looks brown to me. It's gonna be burnt. I'll say this is done. Look at it. Don't just judge. Now is this brown? Ah. Oh, this is brown. Okay. This is brown. Brown. All right, now, this is the tricky part. Partial baking? Did you turn it over? No, it'll be fine. Wait, you turn it over? It'll be fine. I'm gonna put it on, it sits on these little pegs right here. Oh. Right? Here we go. Turned over. Oh. Now. Doesn't it pop out of there? Not yet. I thought it popped out. It does. Eventually. Not yet. Alright. Okay. So it says, immediately turn pan upside down. Got it. Or rest each loaf pan. We didn't do that. Until cake is completely cool. That may not happen because we're, we're pretty hungry, but, but we'll figure something out. Let me show you what happened to the strawberries. Remember this? They were covered in snow. Look at them now. Beautiful gelatinous, beautiful gelatinous <laughs> mixture that will go on top of this mostly cooled cake. What I do is I just use a regular old butter knife and run it backwards around the edge, all loosened up before we take it out. And is it pan, done? It is done. <gasps> Ooh. Look at that. Oh. All right, so set that aside. Are we gonna eat something now? Well, <laughs> hang on, 
Can you try to find me a serrated knife? Do we have one? That drawer. Can we go get it? You go get it. You go get it. Assistant. You go get it. All right, so the flute. What do you need a serrated knife for? Oh, because you're going to tear the cake out. To so cut it. The assistant is always having to help. Except I can't find them. Why don't you just use this? You think it's going to work? Look. Yeah. Look. Here. Look. Look at the assistant. I just don't want to. I don't want to mess it up. You messed it up, Sam. You messed it up. You're the one who didn't look for a serrated knife. Well, I don't need a serrated knife for this part. I need a serrated knife to cut the damn thing. All right. Stop. Assistant's done helping. Well, assistant's not going to get any in. Assistant's going to eat this cake up. All right. So, put your cake, put your plate on top. Flip it over again. Pull your flute out of the middle. And look, it looks just like it would if you brought it at Kroger. Take a minute. So it's kind of, in essence, a strawberry shortcake. I like extra juice, please. You like extra juice? Juice. I like extra juice, please. Okay. That's not more juice. So if you have an assistant that likes extra juice, then you have to skim some of the juice. Oh. That's not juice. Is that enough juice? Do you want whipped cream too? Alright, a little whipped cream. Wait a minute! <laughs> Give me some more! It's gone. Oh. Alright. I'm gonna take a fork. Where's mine? It's yours right there. Get, some. Get it. Take a fork. Good. You make me feel so young. Thank you. you make me feel we'll like spring has sprung. And every time I see you grin, I'm such a happy.